base camp is a tuition free nonprofit. I call it high tech votech. We're taking kids straight out of high school, just graduated, and we teach them the basic programming skills that they would need to go get a job as a programmer. Coding is a very timely skill to have right now. Everything now is so information rich. It all is being decisioned by a machine. And in order for a machine to be able to make a decision, someone has to think ahead of time what decisions it might be presented with and to tell it what to do at that point in time. It's not rocket science. It's just very logical thinking about potential scenarios in the future. But basically what coding is, you're writing instructions for the computer because without those instructions, the computer's dumb. What I thought, people who coded was nerds, basically people with, I mean, glasses and just all day in the computer. But now it's just, I mean, just normal people, normal, cool, you know, people. Everybody looks at me differently and be like, oh, you don't look like you would do that. You don't look like the person that would code. I just love to prove them wrong and they're like, hey, look what I'm doing. We were looking for those kids who teachers saw the potential in, but often the teachers didn't quite know what the best opportunity was for those students, but they knew that there was more at stake for those students. Any of us from small towns around Mississippi, we all knew those kids. They had the attitude, they had the attitude, and we went to the teachers and the guidance counselors and the principals in those high schools, because we knew they were the ones that could point those kids out, and we were right. We did find them. We found a great initial class, and they're doing great so far. I had no idea what it was, in my opinion, I thought it was a scam, but I, when I saw them come to North Panola, I really like, these guys are serious. So when they kind of interviewed me, and then the next thing I know, it was like, wow, this is like really happening to me right now. For most people, computer programming is some crazy thing that you know, you'd never be able to learn in 100 years, but it's relatively easy if you have someone to show you. Our model is we kind of pick people up and then just dunk them right in it. Most of it's hands-on, learn as you go, give people a topic, let them pursue it, let them make a bunch of mistakes and help them fix the mistakes in the process, and then make some pretty cool things at the end of the day. Our classroom's just an open space full of windows. We're all put into one big group. You're always being able to talk to your table partner. We're all one big happy family in there. <laughs> I think of it more as like a work environment instead of like a school classroom environment. So, you know, at the first couple of weeks it's weird, but then you start learning to work with your partner and that helps a lot. Our one metric for success is they will leave us and they will set foot into their first job. They're practicing every skill that would have a place in an office environment or in a true tech development environment. It's much more training in terms of a musical instrument, where you can learn the book side of it, but to get really good, you just need to do it over and over and over. They've been doing really well. Um, I've constantly been surprised. I, I go home pretty much every week and tell my wife, I can't believe what this student did. It's been exciting to see the student growth. I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it didn't think I would be smart enough to do it. And then now I have like all of these applications and things like that that I started when I was here and it's very proud, very proud. I have a ton of people coming up to me asking me all the time, how's the class, what is code? I mean, I try to explain it to them and give me that look like, what is that? And so I just show them my websites and they, they're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Everything I see now, I think about code, you know? And it was crazy because at first, when I first walked in here, I thought that I wasn't going to be good at it and I'm way better than I thought I was going to be. Sometimes you'll make something and it's really easy to make and you're just like, oh, that was easy. And then some of them, you try to make it and then you go to run it and it doesn't work. It just kind of blows up in your face. So the satisfaction comes from when time after time it doesn't work and then when it finally does, it's just, it's more of a feeling of relief. Once you finish that huge project that you stitch together yourself that has all these buttons, knobs and stuff. It's really, really satisfying. What it has meant to each of these students personally and the way that they see themselves and the pride that they take in both their work and just what they're doing right now was unexpected and it's wonderful. To the ones that said that Mississippi was a dumb state, they're completely wrong. They just pay attention to 
what other people say about me, they don't really come down to see the real Mississippi. They don't know what we're doing down here.